I'm David Gathara. I currently lead the nursing services research, but previously have been co-leading part of the quantitative uh, work on the health services that deliver for newborns. My role uh, within the health services that deliver for newborns has evolved over time. I joined the project in the, its early stages, uh, developed some, uh, some of their uh, proposals and materials, started off with the quantitative work trying to understand the burden of disease for newborns, access for newborn care and the quality of care for the newborns who actually access it. And then transitioned on to trying to appreciate how care is delivered within newborn units, more specifically to nursing. Uh, appreciating how much nursing care is delivered, developing tools for measuring that, uh, both directly but also trying to appreciate from a more wider scope on nurses' perceptions or uh, what we often refer to nurse reported uh, per uh, perceptions of missed care. One of the major issues that the health services that deliver for newborns is tackling is trying to understand the context within which newborn care is delivered and by appreciating that we hope uh, we'll be able to identify the challenges uh, for delivering newborn care uh, within these uh, low income settings where there is you know, high mortality settings, high workloads for nurses, limited nurse staffing and using that evidence inform interventions designed that are more context relevant uh, to solve uh, some of the issues we we'll pick up. Missed care uh, is a new concept that has come into place in over a decade now and often refers to the inability to provide the required nursing care and that can either be as a result of omission or delayed care and evidence from high income countries has actually illustrated that these quite a strong link between uh, care that is left undone or missed and patient outcomes including mortality, uh, quality of care that is delivered to uh, patients but also in hospital settings but also in home care settings and has also been linked to uh, patient-centered uh, outcomes like patient experiences and how patients perceive the kind of care that they receive from hospitals. I think it's important first because of you know the reasons that I've just mentioned but for our kind of setting and low and middle income setting I think we have a different context. We have high patient workloads with limited nursing staff. Uh, with the context is not perfect in terms of the resources available for providing care. So appreciating how much care is delivered in our settings and some of the reasons might be driving good quality care, meaning care is being delivered or not being delivered, are very important in trying to appreciate and you know, come up with interventions that are very relevant for, for our setting. Uh, we've recently embarked on undertaking work on measuring missed care within Kenya uh, in newborn units and it's work that started off by first developing the minimum standards for uh, required for nursing care provision within the inpatient setting, uh, newborn units, and then using these standards we developed a direct observation checklists uh, based on tasks that can actually be directly observed and then took this forward uh, using people that we trained to actually observe care as it was being delivered within newborn units. Uh, the challenges and the unique bit about this work is that different babies with different degrees of severity actually require different magnitudes of care and w different babies require different interventions and that poses a challenge with how do you deal with the different denominators of, of the required care and we developed a metric which takes into account uh, the varying denominators that allows us uh, to pull our findings across all the babies observed and it, so this metrics we, we're calling it the nursing quality of care index and the work that we've done spans across six hospitals uh, the, both uh, across the three different sectors public private and private not-for-profit 
and for 216 babies. The key findings from this work is that uh, only about 60% of the care that is required is actually delivered across all babies observed. And when you look at the public sector, less than 50% of the care that is required is delivered. Um, we've demonstrated a strong association between the number of nurses, the number of babies uh, being looked after by one nurse and the care that they are able to deliver. I think the implications of these findings is that uh, they point to one, uh, we've identified tasks that are not being delivered that are directly linked to uh, the outcomes of babies, things like vital signs monitoring and feeds not being given or not being delivered, but also things that point to you know critical safety issues like uh, interventions not like oxygen or photo therapy not being properly not being properly delivered. One of the main solutions that I, that I see f stemming from this work is is that people have to come together and partners to increase the number of nurses providing care within newborn units. Uh, cannot replace what nurses do. But even so, we also need to provide mechanisms for supporting nurses so that they can focus on more technical and critical things. Uh, and that might include uh, providing support staff, um, for instance, healthcare assistants that are used in high income settings, but also might include revising the scope of practice for nursing and since nurses have taken up a lot of responsibilities along the way and some of them are not really nursing tasks and that might provide a solution. Moving forwards, the research that needs to be taken uh, into account is uh, the methods that we've developed for direct observational work are much more difficult to deploy at scale. So we need to come up with approaches for measuring what nurses do uh, at scale but more importantly is um, focusing on work that has not gained a lot of traction in low and middle income settings.